John has been ridiculously uh, patient, first through all of my rantings, and then uh, we, I want your view on this now, because, again, do we understand that education uh, requires resourcing? Absolutely. But when, as the, as the reporting I showed on screen before was, $320 billion or thereabouts over 10 years, nobody can audit where the money went. So what exactly is the argument for more money on top of bad money? Well, the reality is that we've virtually doubled expenditure on education over the last 10 to 12 years, doubled. Standards have continued to decline. I understand New South Wales is actually leading the decline, which is very worrying indeed, biggest state. Uh, there's a few things here that need to be taken note of. Uh, one is that uh, of the 80 or so countries that I understand the OECD has been tracking in terms of classroom behaviour, we've gone from close to the bottom of the pack to almost absolute bottom of the pack, and that's making the job nearly impossible for teachers. Uh, let's go to the trope uh, of Nicholas's again. Maybe we need to take some money away from the wealthy schools. Ask yourself this question. Why are vast numbers of Australian parents trying to get their kids into the private system? Shouldn't that be putting some pressure back on the state systems to say, lift your game, do better? I agree with Bronwyn that it is a good thing that Jason Clare appears to be working with the states. Let's hope they deliver. Uh, to do something about the training of teachers. I should reveal that I have two daughters who teach. They find it very frustrating because of the paperwork, the bureaucracy, the, you know, the, the restrictions that are put on them. Uh, and uh, there's a very high rate of burnout amongst teachers. I'm not going to get into blaming teachers, but I think curriculum needs looking at again. Mm -hmm. Discipline is an area where you know, we really simply have to do better and re-empower sure. teachers to be able to take control of their classrooms and learn the lessons that parents are voting with their feet that tells you they want better. And I've seen some research out of New South Wales that says that parents are desperately concerned their children are not being taught the three R's or history and that they're being filled with ideology. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Alan Tudge was right. A lot of our kids come out of school believing they're inheriting a nightmarish culture that shouldn't be defended, which is hardly a way to build a unified uh, and, and cohesive society.